what's up today's video is going to be all about my skincare basically how I take care of this gorgeous flawless face just kidding I have tons of makeup on so of course it looks semi flawless but um I really am a stickler about skin and acne and I hate acne, I hate breakouts, and I know that skin is so important, which is one of the main reasons I've actually given up tanning, which is kind of sad. I kind of miss it sometimes, but I just like don't want premature aging, I don't want skin cancer, so I gave it up. And it's been kind of difficult because I was very attached to tanning, but I've been getting more compliments like from my family and friends telling me, wow, you look so much more natural and you fit in better with the, uh, you know, months of like winter, like January, February, because you look like everybody else. You don't look as dark as you did because I would tan like every day. It was an obsession. So, um, there's some announcements or things I want to talk about before we jump into the video. The first thing that I can think of off the top of my head is something I posted on Facebook and Twitter, which is I am not going to eye mats this year. I know, a sad face. I can't swing both eye mats and the makeup show. I've never been to eye mats. I didn't go to eye mats last year. I actually went to the makeup show last year, though, and had a blast with my mom, and we both really want to go back to the makeup show. Um, and I cannot swing both the makeup show and eye mats for price and, you know, getting, uh, the time off from school and all that stuff so May 5th and 6th is the makeup show in New York City and I really want to schedule a mini meetup I know I don't have like a hundred thousand subscribers but I have enough where I feel like I can do a mini meetup and by the time May rolls around who knows I might have more so basically May 5th and 6th I'm gonna be in New York and the 5th or the 6th I haven't really decided yet I just want to schedule a mini meetup and meet some of my amazing subscribers and just meet you guys and it's just I think it'd be such an awesome time and experience so what I need you guys to do is is leave comments below telling me who can actually go or who's interested in this. If it's something that's not going to work out, I'm not going to be heartbroken. It's just something I, I thought would be fun since I am going to be in New York City. New York City is full of people. Most people want to travel to New York City, so why not to meet me? Or just to go out there for whatever reason and meet me too while you're out there. So it's totally up to you guys if it's going to work out cool. If not, like I said, I'm not going to be that upset. I will eventually do a meetup, and I'm sure I'll get a lot of people to come out. Basically, all I want to know is if you guys are interested in that. If so, leave comments below and let me know. So that's one announcement or thing I wanted to ask you guys. And I think there's something else, but of course I can't remember. Oh, these glasses too. <laughs> you guys are going to laugh. I literally popped the frames out because when I had the frames in, the ring light was like reflecting through. So I popped the frames out and I think like these can be back in, but I just popped them out and it worked pretty good. I got these suckers at Claire's and I did order Snooky Snurds. They just haven't come in yet. I got the black frame Snurds. So I'm kind of excited for that because they're super cute. I think glasses kind of pull a look together um, in a cool way. So it's a different kind of fashion look. So, I'm pretty sure that's it for announcements. I think there was something I might be forgetting, but I can't think of it now, so let's get into my skincare routine. The first thing is my makeup remover wipes that I'm obsessed with. I have not found any equivalent or anything better, and I use the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Palette, and these come in a lot of different formulas, but I use the Night Calming one. Just because I really like, you know, the scent of it, and, you know, it's relaxing. But recently I went to Target and I got these oil-free cleansing wipes, pink grapefruit for acne prone skin. And I've never tried this, so I'm kind of excited to try this because I'm running low on these night calming ones. But I know Neutrogena makes amazing makeup wipes. They come in all types. And I have been breaking out a little bit more usual, more you more than lately. Does that even make sense? Can I speak? I've been breaking out a lot more than I normally do. There we go. And um, I just wanted something a little bit more for acne, so I'm pretty sure these will be good. If you guys have used these, leave comments below. But Neutrogena makes amazing products, and it also came with a oil-free moisture SPF 15 lotion for your face. So why not? So I can't wait to try these. And these are the ones I typically use, which are amazing too. So yes, I love them. They don't make my eyes burn. I've tried some like makeup remover wipes from All May, and they're like little browns, and they burn my eyes. This doesn't burn my eyes, and it removes like 99% of your makeup, which is like basically all of your makeup. But I wouldn't say it replaces washing your face. That's just like a pre-step to washing your face. And since I wear full face makeup, foundation, everything, I need like those large wipes. I can't use the little rounds. They're just not you know, important for me. 
On to my cleanser. This is by far my favorite cleanser, which is Cetaphil Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser for normal to oily skin. Removes excess oil without dry, drying and rinses clean. My mom's dermatologist has actually recommended this and she always buys it now because of that. And it's the best daily cleanser. I don't think that anything tops this. It's just dermatologist tested. It's non-irritating, it's great for sensitive skin, it's good for like all skin types and they come in different formulas, like this is for normal to oily skin, I think they have oily skin, they have all different skin types, but this is by far the best cleanser, this is like morning and night what I use and this is really all I use right now, um, that's it, this is a really great cleanser so I don't feel like I need anything else. Because I have been breaking out, I bought this Neutrogena Clear Pore Oil Eliminating Astringent. Effectively treats and helps prevent breakouts without over drying and it has salicylic acid and acne medication. Now, the thing with this stuff is that when it has salicylic acid, I find that my skin will dry out. This actually says, obviously on it, without over drying. It does what it says. It clearly does not over dry and I feel like that's one of my biggest fears with using these astringents is like that burning drying and then the like morning my face is dry not to mention here where I live it's been below zero like close to below zero maybe not below zero exactly but it's been so cold that like my hands are dry and the last thing I need is an astringent that's gonna dry my face out so this is really good if you're looking for something that actually clears your face without over drying I would definitely look into this um, clear pore by Neutrogena it's really really good and after I wash my face I use this so then um, for acne as well, I got this Cleaning Clear Persa Gel 10, 10% benzoyl peroxide acne medication maximum strength. It's basically just spot treatment for when you have acne. Wherever you see your acne, you just put it on overnight and it definitely clears it up and dries it out. So that's really, really important, especially if you are having breakouts like I have been. Now, when all is said and done, my favorite face lotion that I bought recently because I was told by a girl at CVS to try this facial lotion is the Eucerin. I think that's how you say it. I've never had this before. Eucerin Daily Protection Moisturizing Face Lotion Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. Moisturizes and helps protect sensitive skin. It's non comedogenic meaning like cosmetic and fragrance free. It's not going to like give you irritation um, and it's lightweight. So that's what it looks like. And I really like it. The only thing is when you pump it, a lot comes out. So go easy with the pump because for some reason a lot comes out. And it gives you SPF 30, which is great protection against the sun. You really, really need to look for um, moisturizers that have SPF because even though you're not necessarily tanning, you're constantly exposed to... Um, you know the sun and this is going to help with premature aging if you use SPF that is so 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 important for um you know not having bad skin is the SPF and I never knew that until my mom tells me everything because she goes to the dermatologist I don't go to a dermatologist so she just tells me everything so this is really really great I've been really loving this it's been really helping like I said it's been so cold here it's been really helping to you know my nose to not be so dry because my nose has been dry because I've been, you know, very congested from the dryness. So this has really been, you know, great for that. And it doesn't make me break out because sometimes if the lotions are too cakey or too heavy, they make you break out. Which then brings me to this, which is my Biore Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. Unclogs and invigorates and I have 14 face and no strips. These are amazing for literally drawing out blackheads, whether you have them right here or your nose. A lot of people get them in their nose, but I get them literally through here, through here and my nose and they come with like the square strips that you put here and here and then the nose. These are really, really great, like I said, for just drawing out your blackheads and literally when you peel it off, you look at it and you can see like the blackhead like standing straight up. It's pretty crazy, but um, this stuff is really worth the money. The last thing I want to talk about is my Freeman Feeling Beautiful Facial Anti-Stress Mask Dead Sea Minerals. Got this at Ulta. I do face masks once a week, but lately I've been kind of slacking with that. So um, it's been like every month. I know. Really, really bad, guys. You should do a mask weekly because... If you wear a lot of makeup like myself, it just gives you a day, well not a day, but like that time you have the mask on, it's literally just refreshing and pulling out any impurities or any leftover makeup and it's just giving your skin a chance to restore and feel rejuvenated and it feels great to do it. It's kind of like a relaxing thing for me, kind of like a spa night. So these are really, really important I feel like to good skincare because it tightens your face and you could feel it, kind of feel like 
you can't move your face because it's tightening the skin and just, you know, restoring and refirming and reforming. And I absolutely love it. So, hopefully I didn't talk too fast. Sometimes people say you talk way too fast, but, you know, sometimes I just have a lot to say and just want to get it out in a short amount of time because I don't want to make a video that's ridiculously long and you guys are like, what the hell is wrong with this chick? So, that was my daily skincare routine. Um, the face mask obviously isn't really daily, it's weekly or monthly. Um, but still, that's my whole skincare regimen. If you guys have any questions about that, leave comments below. And I think that about sums everything up. Check for all my links below, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Okay? Bye, babies!